Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you all of the shoes that I am taking along with me on my Caribbean cruise vacation. I am going on a cruise again and I am so excited. I am actually just finishing packing or working on packing, I shouldn't say finishing. Um, so I have all my shoes laid out here and then I have kind of things like dresses and outfits that I'm going to be taking along. Those are all there and some of them you've seen before and I will do outfits of the evening while I'm on my cruise and upload it when I get home but I just thought before I go I would show you guys all of the shoes that I'm taking along. So I probably don't need to take as many shoes along as I am taking. I have about five that I actually can think of different uses for them that I will need them and then there's probably three more that I don't need to take along but they're really pretty so I want to anyway. So by the time you see this video I will already be on the cruise ship. I am getting my sister to upload this for me and I am pre-recording it obviously um, but I wanted to have some videos to post while I'm away so you don't have like two weeks of nothing. Um, it's eight nights or eight days but then we're also going kind of we're heading to Seattle doing some shopping and then staying in Vancouver and everything so I'm gonna be gone for a while so my sister's gonna post this for me and and while you're watching this, I'm actually going to be in La Romana in the Dominican Republic. So very excited. Just a quick overview of the places we are going and then I will get on to the shoes. Um, we are flying down to Fort Lauderdale from Seattle. So first we're taking a ferry and then driving down to Seattle. Um, and then fly to Fort Lauderdale and we are going to Grand Turk, La Romana, Caraco, and Aruba. And then we also have three days at sea on board the ship as well. So very, very excited. Okay, so for shoes. Um, the first pair are actually the ones I'm going to be traveling in. I don't like wearing open-toed shoes and stuff on the plane. Um, so these are just my plain everyday sneakers that I wear. Um, they're Adidas brand. I got them about two years ago. Uh, they're starting to break. You can see here, but that's okay. And then one of the excursions that we're doing, the one in Aruba, it is kind of like motorcycle trikes. And anyway, you have to have closed shoes for that. So thought I'd bring these. They look good. And then if I decide to go to the gym, although they're not the best um, shoes for the gym, <sighs> Oh, uh, what am I kidding? I'm not going to the gym. But if I were to go in the gym, go to the gym on board the ship, those are the shoes I would wear. And then we have just kind of my shoes that I like walking around in. Um, these are these ones here. These are from Maurice's and they're kind of like a dark blue denim. Um, they're already, yeah, I wear them a lot. You can see them breaking here. Um, so these are kind of my day-to-day -day shoes I'm going to wear most of the time. I have uh, most of my shorts are like dark, either black, navy blue, or like a dark green, so it won't look weird to have dark color shoes. And then for in the evening, um, these are kind of my dress shoes. They're also well worn. These are actually my work shoes that I go to teaching with. Um, so I wear these four days a week um, for quite a few hours. Um, yeah, so they're just really easy. I got these from Walmart, and these are the most comfortable shoes ever, like for flats. They're just squishy and I wish I found more of these ones and I went to Walmart to look at the other ones and I did buy some other shoes from Walmart but yeah, I can't find these ones again. And I'm talking really fast, I realize that. I'm just so excited, I can't wait to go on the cruise. We leave tomorrow, yay. Oh wait, so these ones are my dress shoes. If I don't wanna wear heels, um, then I'm gonna wear these for dinner. And last cruise, I think I wore these every day for dinner. Um, or sometimes I may wear high heel shoes and then in the evening after dinner um, there's like comedy shows and things where I still want to look nice um, so I'll be wearing like dress pants but I don't want to just wear sneakers or, or high heeled shoes because we're gonna be walking and yeah so these are the ones then for the formal night I'm wearing well actually both these dresses um, oh it's so pretty oh my god okay well I'll just show it to you since it seemed to have come down anyways it is like this and then at the bottom it has all this kind of pretty sparkly details. It has a big bow in the back. Anyways, so that is one of my evening outfits. And with that, I am wearing these shoes. I think I got them from Shoe Warehouse or something, um, where you just like try on all of them yourself. It's Gossip brand. And yeah, it's just kind of like a satin finish. Um, and then it has a bow with a big sparkly jewel thing on it. Um, yeah, and with these ones, usually I wear, these are the shoes that I wear if I'm going out getting dressed up really nicely, um, like at home. So I have kind of their squishy thing that you can take in and out um, on the bottom. Oops, yeah. Anyways, just to make it more comfortable on your feet. 
And then talking about high heels, these ones I actually just got from Walmart. They were $25 and they're really nice. I like them too. I have a similar pair um, that look very close to this, but they don't have a closed back. Um, so actually I'll just get them over here because my shoe closet is all the way over here. So they're actually these ones here. See how similar they look? Um, but these ones are actually a bit harder to walk in because they don't have a back, so I'm kind of like flapping around. So, anyways, these are the ones that I bought, and I did buy them because they look like the other ones, but they're different. Um, yeah, it's twenty five dollars. They have a little peep toe, and I think yes, I bought some skinny black jeans. Actually, no, they're skinny black dress pants. Um, so I can wear them with these to look <laughs> good because all my other ones are like long, not flared, but just regular cut and it didn't look good with this. So I got some skinny ones to wear like this. And then the last pair of my essential shoes that I think I will actually wear um, are just these little flip flops. I got, actually I got these in Pay Payless in St. Thomas last year, but obviously any kind of flip-flops. Um, because we were going on a catamaran tour and I actually didn't have any of these little flip-flops because I don't like them. I don't like them at all. They irritate my feet. My big toe and second toe are not used to having something in between them. But we were going on a catamaran and I, you had to like walk through the water to get to it. And I don't know. I just wanted to have these. I don't know why I didn't go bare feet. Whatever. Um, everyone else had shoes, so I wanted to. And so I didn't want to, you know, get these ones all waterlogged. So I got this. Um, so yeah, I'm bringing these again this year as well. So those are all the things that I will actually wear. And then I picked up two new pairs of shoes from Payless and then one is one of my old ones that I may wear. Um, so I'm going to show you those as well. So these ones are kind of like just flat sandals but they're a little bit dressier than, well, than my flip flops. Um, they're this. They are Cupid brand. It's kind of all rubbed out. And actually I got them from WTF Shoes like three, four years ago, or maybe three years ago. The company's not really in business anymore, um, but I still really like these. Uh, so yeah, it just kind of goes around that, and it's very flat. It, they're not the most comfortable to walk in just because it offers no support, but they are really pretty. So yeah, this is one, and oh, I can actually see myself wearing these. Okay, and then the next ones, we have another pair of flats, and actually I'm still contemplating if I want to bring these or not. Um, once I go through all my packing, I will have to see if I actually have something that I can wear with this. I don't have any shirts that match this exactly, and then I don't want to wear like a green shirt and black pants and then, or black shorts and this, because that's not going to go well. So yes, I have to see if I'm going to wear these or not, but I got these from Payless. They are American Eagle brand, and... They were all on sale, so I kind of have my receipts, so, because they're in store still. Um, originally they were $26, but I got them for $21. So, yes, they're really comfortable. They had a whole bunch of different colors, um, but I decided to go with these ones. I like that they have the little bow here, and yeah, they're kind of like a thinner cloth material, and yeah, I could just, I can picture these being really comfortable. And then my last pair is a nude type heel. Well, it is nude, but, um... It has a little bow here and a peep toe. So this is Fioni brand. And again, this is from Payless. Originally, these were $44, um, but I got them for $29. And they fit really nicely, and they're actually relatively comfortable, even though they have a heel. But the heel is not that big, because there's actually like a platform like that, so the heel is yes, not as big. But I don't have any pair of nude heels, and I wanted to have some... Um, yeah, and I don't really like the look of like the patent leather, the shiny ones. Um, so I decided to go with this one. It's kind of like a suede-like, obviously not real suede because it's cheap. Um, but yeah, suede-like. Um, so not good for weather where I am, where it's raining all the time and cold, and I can't wait to leave here because it's yeah super windy and cold and raining. Um, but perfect for the Caribbean when you're on a boat all day. You're not going to be like subject to any kind of weather. Um, yeah, so those are all of the shoes that I am bringing. I was going to say let me know which ones you think I should leave at home, but by the time you see this, I will have already made my decision, so unfortunately that won't help. Um, I will do outfits of the evening, so you'll see how many of those shoes I actually used. I do tend to overpack, like I said before. Um, even last year, I think I bought, brought a whole bunch of shoes and I didn't end up wearing them. So likely, I'll probably like only wear these shoes for dinner, except for those two fancy nuts, not those two other dress or high-heeled wedge shoes, but 
We'll see. Okay, that is everything for this video today. I hope you guys are having a great spring break if you're still on spring break. My school that I teach at only goes back on April 2nd. That's why I'm on vacation now. Um, or if just have a great week and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.